ドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥ Hi everyone, welcome to the first ever KidMax Live. So today we're going to spend just a few minutes looking at what we're doing in KidMax today. So we're going to be looking at some of the preschool activities, some of the activities for grades one to five, and even showing off what some of our friends have already done across the meeting house. So if you would like to follow along either now or later on today,、um, you can go to our parent blog at parents.themeetinghouse.com, click on、uh, Church at Home Week Four, it's going to be for this week, and you can see the Activity pages and the lesson plans for everything that we're going to do today. Now, I know some of you might have already done KidMax when you first woke up this morning. Some of you might decide to do it later on today, and others of you might decide to do it sprinkled all throughout your week, which is totally fine. Anything that you need for whenever you want to use it is available on that parent blog. I also want to let you know about our Instagram account, TMH KidMax. This is a place where we share our preschool story each week and our big ideas and key verses, and also just some pictures of you guys at home doing things that you enjoy and the KidMax activities that you do. So be sure to give us a follow on there to keep up with everything that we're doing in KidMax during the week. So let's get started with our preschool content for today. Our big idea for the whole month of April has been Jesus is alive. And today we have a story that's called Fish for Breakfast, which doesn't sound that appealing, but it's what the story is about. So every week on our Instagram page, we post、uh, one of our KidMax coordinators or maybe a special guest. Uh, reading our preschool Bible story for the week. We're going to show you just a little bit of this week's now. It comes to us from Jackie, our KidMax coordinator in Ancaster. Take a look. Hey guys, my name's Jacqueline. I'm the KidMax coordinator from Hamilton, Ancaster. And today we're going to read a story from the Big Bible Storybook. So the story we're reading today is called Fish for Breakfast, and it's taken from John 21, verses 1 to 14. So one night, Peter and his friends went fishing in their boat. They fished and fished all night long, but they did not catch even one fish. Thank you so much, Jackie, for recording the story for us this week. Again, on our Instagram page, you can watch the whole story there. So, for our craft and preschool today, we have a coloring page that shows the disciples out in the water and Jesus on the beach making fish for them for breakfast. So, I want to show you a couple of pictures that some of our friends have already done. This first one comes to us from the London site. I think you did a really great job here, especially with Jesus being so bright and green on the shore there. And then the second picture comes to us from the Oakville site. And again, I think fantastic job. I love the color of the disciples' hats, they're really, really fun. Thank you so much, girls. For sending in your craft pictures for us to look at this week. So now it's time to look at our kids' stuff for today. So, kids, our big idea in grades one to five for today is the Holy Spirit is God in us. And our God story today comes from the one and only Bruxy Cavey, and it's from the book of Acts. So, again, this entire video is available as a link on our parent blog, but let's just watch a couple of minutes of it right now. In the first chapter of Acts, Jesus has not yet ascended back to heaven. He's still hanging out in person with his followers, and he teaches them for 40 days about the kingdom of God. Jesus said to his disciples, You remember how John the Baptist would baptize people in water? Well, I will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. A baptism, you know, being plunged into water and being cleansed by God and rising up to your own new life with Jesus. Jesus says that's what the Holy Spirit is going to do. You'll be plunged into God, and God will be plunged into you. Awesome. And our life story segment for today comes from our Perry Sound site. So, this story is about Jackson, who is a hockey player. So, kids out there that love playing hockey, maybe are missing hockey right now, I really think you're gonna love this story. And I love how Jackson uses hockey not just as something separate from his faith, but he takes his faith and that the Holy Spirit is inside of him and he uses it in his hockey time. So, let's take a look at that now. I know that burritos are delicious. I know that my family loves me, and I knew from a very young age that Jesus loved me, cared for me, and was always going to be there for me. I'm Jackson Kuhn from Perry Sound, Ontario. And even though I knew God from a very young age, it did not mean that I didn't have any struggles. That was really cool. I can't wait to watch the rest of that life story. 
Okay, so now we're actually going to do the prayer activity from our grades one to five lesson today. So the only thing you need to do this activity with your family is some sort of ball. This is the only one I have, it belongs to my cat. And basically all you have to do is each person holds the ball and finishes the sentence, because God lives in me, blank. So I'm going to start and then some of my friends are going to help me. Because God lives in me, I don't need to be afraid. Because he lives in me, I can enjoy his creation. Because, because he lives in me, I will follow him. Because God lives in me, I can be happy. Because God lives in me, I, I love my family and my friends. Because God lives in me, I can be kind. Because Jesus lives in me, I am confident. Because God lives in me, I can love others. Because God lives in me, I have courage. <laughs> awesome guys, that's a great job. Well friends, it's almost time for our church service to get started. As we think about worshiping together as a family, you might wanna get a few things ready. Maybe you have some instruments that you wanna play as we worship God together. Maybe you wanna create some space that you can dance as you worship God. Maybe you wanna create just a little space so you can sit and pray and talk to God as we worship together. I'm really excited for this time as a family. And then of course, after music time, our parents and our guardians are going to listen to the adult teaching. So during that time, we wanna make sure we can be as quiet as we can, maybe get a coloring page or something so that our parents can listen to their teaching. And then maybe later on today, if you haven't already, we can watch the kids teaching together as well. It's going to be a really great time of church as a family. But before we go, I have a couple of things I want to mention to you. Again, don't forget to check out the parent blog. Oh, my cat's on the screen. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna cut this. Liam. But before we go, I want to remind you about our parent blog once again, so you can get all the materials you need there. I also want to remind you about our Instagram page so you can check out what other kids are doing across the meeting house. If you want to send us your pictures of you doing KidMax at home, you can actually email me at kidmax at the and we would love to show your pictures on our Instagram or who knows, maybe you'll show up in KidMax live next week. Now, before we go, we have a very special video to show you. Some of you might remember that over the last few weeks, we have been issuing a KidMax challenge. And the challenge was to dance to one of our Meeting House Kids songs. And so that video is finished. The entire video is going to be on our Instagram page in just a little while, but we thought we would show you a small bit of it now to see how much fun we had together making this video. So this is going to do it for me for this week. Thank you so much for tuning in. Enjoy this video and we'll see you at church. Jesus is